Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a brand new video, a brand new month and a brand new product from SV Boney. Now, this is the brand new SV225 M from SV Boney. And uh, at first glance, you may think, well, Jay, haven't you uh, already uh, reviewed this? Uh, and that's because this is the smaller version of the SV225. Uh, now, just for a comparison, uh, I have an SV225 right here, and you can see there's quite a uh, size difference, uh, and this is why this is the Mini. Uh, but trust me, just because uh, the word Mini is involved, SV Boney have certainly cut no corners with this thing. It's a proper bit of kit. Now, I must point out, guys, before we go any further, SV Boney has uh, sent me this free of charge uh, to have a look at and review on this channel. Uh, but that, as always, as in with all my products, that doesn't mean I I have to lie about it and tell you all good things about it. I will always, always give you my honest review on any products that I uh, do have a look at on this channel. Now, like I say, this is virtually a carbon copy of the larger SV225. And uh, SV Boney really haven't cut any corners with it. it. It's such a joy to use. Now, just in case you're not aware, what this is, is, is an alt as mount. Now, an alt as or an alt azimuth mount um, simply is a word for moving your telescope up and down and left and right. It's one of the easiest uh, types of mounts that you can use. And I've always said that no matter how much you've paid for your telescope, if it's not on a decent mount, um, it's in the game, it's classed as a hobby killer uh, because you're just going to have no joy of using your telescope of the night sky or any enjoyment at all. It just brings along frustration. And it's, uh, it's something that people often uh, overlook as an upgrade to something that they must do. You may you may love your telescope, but hate your mount. Uh, well, SV Boney really has got the answer for you here. I've, uh, I've been using this for a few weeks now, and uh, after just a few minutes, um, I mean, I've been, my go-to mount is the SV225, the, the, the bigger version. And in a few minutes, I couldn't tell the difference. You know, the, you just can't tell the difference. It's such a lovely made uh, bit of kit, this. Right, now it's fully metal, just like the um, the larger version. Uh, everything's metal on this thing, and it really is built like a tank. It's one of those mounts that, uh, honestly, if you look after it, will last you a lifetime. Now, even though this is a, a small, dinky little mount compared to its larger sibling, this little mount will take up to uh, a maximum load capacity of around about five kilograms. And uh, I mean, that really is uh, it's quite surprising for a little Altaz mount like this. But trust me, folks, when you actually get one of these and feel just how well built it is, you are certainly going to trust expensive equipment on this lovely little mount. One thing I must point out, uh, you do only get the mount uh, in the package. Uh, you get everything else that you're going to need. Uh, you will have to provide your own tripod. The thing is, this mount will work with virtually any telescope up to like I say five kilograms and virtually any tripod I've got it mounted at the minute on my old sky watcher my old trusty sky watcher EQ2 and I had no trouble at all to fit it at all and you would just bolt that on with the standard UNC bolts uh, it's the bigger size ones now the mount alone without a telescope uh, weighs in round about a kilo and a half I mean it really is a lightweight thing so Obviously, this is going to make it ideal for traveling because uh, it's going to pack away. Uh, the, the, the other thing to mention, I must mention, is how versatile this is. Just like I mentioned in the about the SB225, the larger version, um, everything's held together by these Allen nuts. And it's just one screw and you can virtually customize this and move it around to suit whatever telescope you've got. I'll uh, speak a little bit more onto that because what we'll do is just pop a telescope on it now. Now, the 
the telescope is uh, fitted, or the clamps, uh, is using a Vixen type mount, uh, which all good telescope uh, mounts are using these days. In my opinion, it's one of the best, and it's a real simple design. But that does mean your telescope does have to have one of these Vixen type brackets, and, uh, and it couldn't be easier to install. You simply make sure that these are unscrewed for a start, uh, and make sure they're not protruding at the bottom. And you just screw those up like that, square that up with the plate like that, and then simply screw these back down. And then this one here is just like a uh, extra security little locking nut like that. And we just clamp that down. I'll thread that a little bit too much. There we go. And that's all locked in. And as you can see, that is really secure now and uh, really easy to actually move or even change uh, from telescope to telescope. And like I say, it will uh, fit telescopes up to four kilograms. No, sorry, apologies, five kilograms. Still amazing. A proper robust little uh, mount. Now, it's when you actually put your telescope on this mount and start using it when you just realize what an absolute pleasure it is to use. Now, it does have the bonus of having slow motion controls as well, just like its larger sibling. Uh, you've got slow motion controls there. If I just move it around so you can see that one a bit. You've got one around the back here and one conveniently placed here. It really is a joy to use this. And, of course, you would use them. If you've never used these before, by the way, uh, you really don't know what you're missing because you would get your initial target it uh, in the field of view by using it manually like that and then once you've got it what you would use um, is these little locking screws because the mount does have these locking screws where you just lock it off and uh, now it won't move up down left or right it's just locked off on the target but now you can actually manually track the uh, object very very slowly with these controls um, it really is a joy to use this it's rock solid by the way on this uh, setup that I've got like I say it's on a uh, sky watcher uh, and this mount and this telescope it's, it's it, it really is rock solid I've done the old tap test uh, and that's where you tap the tell you look through the eyepiece you tap the telescope and uh, check the vibrations and it's little to none on this it's fantastic a real joy to use now i did say well, it is like customizable just like it's big sibling the sv225 this uh, sv225m and uh, everything's held together with these allen screws here uh, now when you first get the mount um, you are going to do a slight you have to or you have to do a slight bit of assembly to it uh, but uh, on doing so but trust me it really is easy and uh, it is packed away lovely when you do get it it's well packed and that's something i've always noticed about sv bony products is they do take care of uh, shipping their uh, products out and uh, it's just a simple matter of undoing this uh, screw on here and rotating the head at 180 degrees and then bolting it back on it's a very simple uh, procedure uh, there's full instructions uh, provided uh, with the telescope um and uh yeah so uh but uh yeah it's just something i want you to be aware of because when you first open it you might think you know uh <laughs> what on earth is this because it's uh it looks a little bit odd at first uh but uh, that's just something to be aware of now just like it's bigger sibling i can't recommend this mount enough folks uh like i say i've been using it quite a while now and it's staying on my tripod it's absolutely beautiful it's a lot lighter it's uh, you know i mean now it, it was lightweight before but now it's it's super lightweight it's super portable um it's going to be you you know like say to most telescopes uh and it will also uh, be able to put small ref uh, reflecting type telescopes on this you don't have to be just limited to uh, refracting type telescopes like this uh you can put small uh, reflectors on uh, these altas mounts as well so a total versatile beautiful little product from sv bony and finally the price of course how much is one of these beautiful little mounts going to cost you well just over a hundred pound believe it or not i think at the time of recording this video about a hundred and four pounds 
grab one while you can folks um like i say you, it's like getting a new telescope when you get a new mount as good as this and performs as well as this under the night sky and of course as well in the daytime there's no reason why you can't uh use this mount on a daytime telescope as well there you have it folks the small but powerful sv225m it's absolutely fantastic um as always links in the description where you can go and grab one of these from thank you so much if you have watched this far and a big thank you to sv boney as always for sending me this amazing product in the meantime folks i'll see you all very very soon bye for now